I can't believe it. It's been way too long since I've done a video on my favorite sunscreens, so I do have to apologize for that. So that's what today's video is all about. My top 10 favorite at the moment sunscreens, not to say that any previous reviews are not still in my faves. It's just there's so many to choose from these days, so I've really tried to narrow it down. Now, if you don't know me, I use sunscreen as the last step in my morning skincare routine every single day, whether it's summer, winter, fall, sunny, rain, doesn't matter so because I do that and the reason I do that is because I want to leverage its protective benefits against the harmful UV rays that cause premature aging in our skin and also skin cancer this also means that I'm very picky about my sunscreens if it's gonna be a staple in my skincare routine and not something I just use on beach days I need it to perform well on my skin and under makeup for reference, I have sensitive, rosacea prone, combination skin that's also dehydrated. So as I'm going through the reviews of these products, keep that in mind. All the ones we're reviewing today, I've either been using for months or years. So I definitely have some good experience using the products. And we're also lucky because today's video has a sponsor, which I'm very excited to show you. So let's roll to that. Look at the color of this silk rope. When Lily Silk wanted to collaborate with me and sponsor a portion of this video, I was all over it. Lily Silk has sponsored me in the past, so I already know that I love their products and they really are high quality silk. But this robe, this yellow color, oh my gosh, I'm totally gushing over this one. This is the Golden Lily Silk Kimono Robe. It is 100% silk, 19 mom charmeau silk in a golden lily print with a relaxed fit. It makes Sunday mornings just feel better. Lounging around, relaxing, sipping on my coffee, or even winding down at the end of the day to just sit in this luxurious fabric. It's something else. It's breathable, moisture wicking, and absolutely completely comfortable to wear. And the fact that it looks just absolutely stunning on is just icing on the cake. But seriously, there is nothing more luxurious than the feel of wearing silk. It is so lightweight on the skin, it's breathable, it doesn't make you hot and sweaty, it's just luxury. So the only thing better than wearing it is sleeping in it. And check this out. First of all, how gorgeous is this color? I was gushing over the yellow, but look at this beautiful mint green. But also, this isn't just a silk pillowcase. Before I tell you the secret about this, just know I've slept on silk for years and that's because I love the benefits that silk gives to skin and hair. When it comes to your skin, sleeping on silk will help the products to remain on your face that you do at the end of the day in your evening skincare routine rather than being absorbed into your cotton pillow. In addition, the way your skin slides and moves around on the silk surface is easier than on cotton because on cotton, have you ever woken up and looked like Scar from The Lion King with a big pillow tattoo down your forehead? That doesn't happen with silk because your skin gently lays on the top of the silk rather than being scrunched up and bunched up into the cotton. In essence, it's helping to eliminate fine lines and wrinkles that are made by your skin bunching up. I don't know about you, but the natural aging process gives me enough fine lines and wrinkles. I don't need my sleep patterns to give me any more. And when it comes to your hair and silk, the same principle applies. The moisture is retained better into your hair rather than being absorbed into your cotton pillow, but also you don't actually wake up with bedhead because your hair kind of slides around on the pillow rather than bunching and crimping in place, I don't wake up with the crazy hairstyles that I used to when I slept on cotton. But that's not all. This particular pillowcase has an innovative design. It's a 27 mom charmeau silk with a glossy finish and antibacterial properties but it has a trademark lily herb, which is actually a plant extract that's woven into the fabric of the silk. And it gives the product a minty aroma that serves as an aromatherapy while you sleep. It's 400 thread count and has a zippered enclosure. But check this out, little secret inside. There's a secret compartment inside so that you can fold the silk pillowcase into itself and bring it with you wherever you go. In my opinion, either the pillowcases or the robe make an absolutely perfect gift, either to you from you or for someone you care about. The packaging it comes in is so beautiful on its own and it doesn't have any non-degradable packaging pieces to it, so it's very environmentally friendly as well. 
I love that the prices at Lily Silk are also affordable and you can use my code Krista to get 12% off your purchase of anything at Lily Silk and you can also use my code Krista25 to buy one get one 25% off for women's apparel and sleepwear. All the information is listed in the description box below and thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get back to our video. When it comes to daily sunscreens, it's critically important that you find the right one that's right for you. And the reason for that is the best sunscreen for you is the one you'll wear every day. So finding the right formulation and one that you don't mind applying to your skin that's not going to break you out or inflame your skin is really important. While mineral sunscreens or physical sunscreens may be best for my rosacea prone skin, my skin actually loves it. I actually prefer the look and feel of chemical sunscreen. So I do use both in my morning skincare routines. Sometimes I use mineral, more often than not I use chemical. The downside of mineral sunscreens is of course the white cast they can leave behind and for some people chemical sunscreens can be quite irritating to the skin and also irritating to the eyes. Personally, I don't have a lot of experience with eye irritation with sunscreens, so I'm not able to say for any of the ones that I'm reviewing today if they actually sting the eyes. So please sound off in the comments below if you've had that experience because it'll really help other people who have the same issue. So of the 10 we're reviewing today, seven are chemical, two are physical or mineral, and one is a combination, meaning it's both a hybrid sunscreen. It's got both chemical and mineral filters in it. I'm starting out with the Beauty of Josen Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics SPF 50 Plus PA++. This is a Korean sunscreen and unless you've been living under a rock, every influencer and every person on the internet is in love with this sunscreen. I have to be honest, I am too. It's extremely hyped for a reason. It contains 30% rice extracts and also grain fermented extracts that really nourish and moisturize your skin because they're rich in amino acids and vitamins and just prove to be really hydrating, moisturizing, and nourishing for your skin. I'll list the UV filters of all the sunscreens that I'm reviewing underneath me here so you can refer to that. And it's important to note that predominantly the sunscreens I'm reviewing here are Asian sunscreens and there's a reason for that. I love the formulations. They're able to use different UV filters than what we have here in North America. Two that I'm going to talk about our North American sunscreens but predominantly I lean towards Asian sunscreens especially from Korea and Japan and the price is right too. There's no alcohol essential oils fragrance in this formulation. There are both green tea and ginseng extracts which are really great antioxidants for the skin. There's niacinamide and a pumpkin ferment extract. This texture applies more like a cream versus a milky or really liquidy finish. It definitely does leave an immediate dewy finish that then dries down as time wears on. This works really great under makeup and is not irritating at all to my inflammatory skin. This is $16.29 for a 50 ml size. Next up I have a Korean mineral sunscreen. This is by Rovectin and this is their Skin Essentials Aqua Soothing UV Protector SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This is a really fabulous option for people who have sensitive skin or just want to stay away from chemical sunscreens for their own reasons. As with most mineral sunscreens, with the zinc in the formulation, there is a slight white cast to this, but this one is far less than most. And it has no alcohol or fragrance in it. There's niacinamide in here, and if I didn't reference that already, it's really good to calm and soothe the skin, reduce redness in the skin. There's so many anti-aging and skin health benefits to niacinamide. I really appreciate it when it's in sunscreens. Oftentimes, it's in other products in your skincare routine. So even if you don't find it in your sunscreen, you probably have it in some of your other products as well. And one of my favorite ingredients is in this one, Centella Asiatica. It's a really calming and soothing ingredient that works really, really well on my rosacea prone skin. This is $18.59 for a 50 ml size. All the prices that I'm referring to will be in Canadian dollars. And I always have everything listed and linked in the description box below. Now I'm going to save my best till last, but this was a toss up between this one and the one that I'm saving for last. 
I literally love this chemical sunscreen. This is another Korean one. This is by Round Lab. It's their Birch Juice Moisturizing Sunscreen SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This was changed in 2021, so the ingredients changed and the manufacturer changed. But the texture is very similar to its previous iteration. It has Round Lab's signature birch juice, which purifies and hydrates the skin. There's also antioxidants, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid in here to help moisturize and protect the skin. It's really a great option for combination skin like mine and I think oily skin could actually use this as their kind of all-in-one step moisturizer sunscreen. The filters you can see down here below, there's no alcohol or fragrance in the formulation, however there is essential oils in the formulation if some of you are sensitive to that. The downside of this one and maybe why it wasn't my very top top fave is that it's a little more expensive. This is around $38 Canadian for a 50 ml size. Next up is the sunscreen I use almost every day. This is by Isentree and this is their Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. It's an SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This is a beautiful lightweight sunscreen and kind of everything that you think of when you think of Korean skincare formulations when it comes to sunscreen. It makes it such an easy last step in your skincare routine and this one is no exception. It's fragrance and essential oil free. It doesn't contain alcohol and it has the following UV filters in it. This product the product's known for its ultra hydrating ingredients because it's formulated with eight types of hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and glycerin. So this could be another great combination all-in-one sunscreen moisturizer for those of you who are looking for that. For me, I tend to apply my moisturizer as my second to last step in my skincare routine and then my sunscreen on top. I do have dehydrated skin so it really works for me to help keep the moisture levels up in my skin throughout the day. There's niacinamide in here, it's also got antioxidants in here. And Centella Asiatica, as you now know, one of my favorites. It dries down to a light satiny dewy finish, which I really actually appreciate in my sunscreen applications. So if you like a matte finish, this one isn't for you. I find it works great under makeup. There's no pilling at all, and it retails for around $18 Canadian for a 50 ml size. As a side note, I love to use these two actually in combination, and this is my reapplication sunscreen stick throughout the day. What I love about this stick is that you can reapply it over top of your makeup and it doesn't disturb your makeup. So it's an easy way to throw in your purse, bring along with you and reapply your sunscreen after activities or most sunscreen companies recommend that you reapply every couple of hours depending on the level of activity and sun exposure that you're experiencing and I think this is a great way to do it rather than reapplying this kind of sunscreen over makeup. This is $20.59 but well worth it in my opinion opinion. It comes with me literally everywhere I go. Next up I have a hybrid sunscreen. This is a Japanese one by Skin Aqua and it's hybrid because it contains both chemical and mineral filters. This is their UV Super Moisture Milk. It's an SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. The beauty of this one is it's water resistant. It has a beautiful milky texture upon application. It's fragrance free. It's really essential to shake this one up before use to make sure that you're applying it evenly. And actually I shake all of my sunscreens before I use them. This one does not leave a very strong white cast at all. I find it leaves a really nice finish on the skin. It takes a little time to dry down into the skin, so be patient with it. I have no issues under makeup and I think it gives a nice dewy finish to my skin. It's $14.49 for this 40 ml size. Next up I have a mineral sunscreen. This one's North American. It's by Drunk Elephant. This is their Umbershare Physical Daily Defense Sunscreen SPF 30 and it leaves a white cast. But I'll tell you how I combat that because as I said before, with rosacea prone skin, using a physical or mineral sunscreen like this is really effective on my skin. It causes zero irritation. I really love the actual sun protection that it gives. I just don't like the white cast. It's really the only downside to mineral sunscreens that I have. This contains a number of antioxidants to protect the skin as well as glycerin, so it's really hydrating, soothing, and calming at the same time. And antioxidants are formulated 
formulated in skincare products or in sunscreen, they have a real added benefit because they help to protect your skin against environmental stressors and oxidative stress. So that combined with the mineral filters in here that help protect you from the UV damage, it's really a great powerful defense mechanism for your skin. This is a heavier application, so oilier skin types may not like this. It dries down like most mineral sunscreens do, but it does leave a white cast, and that's why I like to use the D Bronzy Jobs by Junk Elephant on top. They really take away that white cast, and you can control how much you want to use, a couple of drops or lots, depending on your skin tone. This way you can just adjust to the tint that you want, and this one also has antioxidants in it, so you're getting that extra support. I'm just using a couple of drops here and you can see the big difference in my skin. So a great mineral sunscreen combo from Drunk Elephant. Next is a repeat product I've talked before on my channel, but I just had to include it here to be able to include another North American favorite. And this is the Anthelius Ultra Fluid Invisible SPF 50 product. It is just so gorgeous. The reason I like it is it's very similar in terms of formulation and application on the skin to many of my favorite Korean sunscreens that I've just outlined. I find it quite moisturizing. There's glycerin in the formulation. There is, however, denatured alcohol in here for those of you who are sensitive. But honestly, I'm sure it's that alcohol that gives it this beautiful texture which makes it so nice to apply to the skin and it really does leave a dewy glowy finish. This product similar to the European Shaka fluid but it's slightly different in terms of the UV filters that are used because those that are approved in Europe aren't necessarily approved here in Canada. The downside of this it's not cheap it's $29.95 here in Canada. Next up is a Japanese waterproof sunscreen and I really appreciate that because I have an active lifestyle in the summer spent a lot of time by the lake and swimming and those types of things so I'm really always wanting a good waterproof sunscreen to use for those times. This is by Kose and this is the Suncut UV Perfect Gel Super Waterproof SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. I actually liken this texture to almost like a more fluid version of Supergoop's Unseen Sunscreen and similar because it also really sticks to the skin making it a really great option for people who are working out and sweating and water activities this is why it's really good for being a waterproof sunscreen. I wore this on a day of swimming and on the lake and although I reapply every couple of hours and so should you even if something says it's waterproof I didn't actually get burned on the water which is what I'm really looking for in a product like this. You can even apply this product to wet skin it just really adheres to the skin well. Another reason why I double cleanse at night because I think it makes it easier to remove sunscreen especially like these ones. UV filters are listed here there's a number of of plant extracts and botanicals in this as well offering antioxidant protection as well as skin soothing ingredients that really work great on my skin there's alcohol in the formulation but also hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid and squalene I've read that other people find this stings their eyes so like I said I haven't had that experience myself but I'd really like to hear in the comments if that's what you've experienced the other thing I love about this sunscreen is the value it's eleven dollars and eleven cents for this one and it's a hundred grams Finally, my favorite. This one was sent over to me by Skin1004. I had bought myself their mineral tinted sunscreen, which I actually really like. Didn't include it in here just because my list could be endless if I brought in every single sunscreen I love. So I had to pick between the two and I went with this one. This is Skin1004's Madagascar Siku Hilu Sun, what is it? Hilu Siku Water Fit Sun Serum. Such a mouthful. SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. Hey, can you hand me the Skin 1004 Madagascar Santella Hyla Siku Water Fit Sun Serum? Don't make me repeat it. The Hyla Siku combination is hyaluronic acid and Centella Asiatica combined together. Skin 1004 has such a beautiful line of products with Centella Asiatica in them, which is why this Korean brand is really one of my favorites. It's fragrance and essential oil free and just contains a literal host of my favorite antioxidants and ingredients in here. I think I've said enough about my love of Centella, but there's also green tea and adenosine. It's an absolute gorgeous sunscreen to apply. Very lightweight application,
kitchen and leaves a dewy finish on the skin, I'm wearing it today. Did I say the price of this one? It's $21.79 for 50 mils. I would say all of these ones really give a very similar finish on the skin. So it's really about sorting through maybe what the ingredients are that you would prefer. And perhaps if you're looking for an all-in-one moisturizer sunscreen, and of course the price. So I hope this video has helped you to sort that out. Drop any questions and comments you have below. I look forward to reading them. Thanks again to our sponsor, Lily Silk, and I hope you have a fabulous day.